Hi everyone, this is Ian from Anthrobotics. Today we are taking a look at the speech recognition hardware for use on our robots. First off, I'd like to thank everyone who has supported Project 87, as well as those who have helped to fund the development of the robotic system we are developing. Without your support, it would have been very difficult to do what we are doing today. So again, thank you very much for your support and encouragement. Okay, so you may recognize one of the devices I have in front of me from a previous video. That would be the Movi Speech Recognition Shield. Now it is designed to stack on top of an Arduino microcontroller and provide real-time speech recognition to an embedded system without needing to install any packages or software. All of that comes pre-programmed on the device's microSD card. Movi can be trained to recognize around 150 words or phrases. However, I have managed to train upwards of 5,000 with the hopes of allowing the system to possess a larger vocabulary. Unfortunately, I found Movi's processing time to slow down quite a bit when attempting to recognize words from such a large set. So that's most likely its largest setback. The other downside to Movi is that it only accepts a mono audio input from a microphone. This does not allow us to use a stereo or binaural microphone with it which kind of defeats the purpose of our robots having two ears. Other than those two cons, Movi works quite well when paired with an Arduino Due 32-bit microcontroller. The greater processing speeds and memory on this board allows us to train a larger word set and still have plenty of program space for recognizer code to be programmed. Moving on to the next device, we have the 32-bit Raspberry Pi 2. Now this is a single board computer as opposed to a microcontroller, so it is capable of running a full Linux operating system. The Pi was able to take input from our stereo mic when used with a USB sound card, so that's one advantage over Movi. I've overclocked it to 1.2 GHz and allocated 90% of its 1 GB of available RAM for the CPU to decrease the time it takes for the Pocket Sphinx speech recognizer to decode spoken word. Pocket Sphinx is a much more powerful recognizer than that on the Movi board, as it can be trained with a much larger knowledge base, and when paired with a higher quality microphone, it has the capability to recognize speech quite accurately. On the Pi 2, I've managed to train upwards of 10,000 words and achieve speeds comparable to that on Movi loaded with 5,000 words. So there is, it is a little bit on the slow side, however, with a couple hundred words, it is relatively fast. One of the reasons for the slow speeds on the Pi 2 could be that it is a 32-bit computer, whereas the Pi 3 is a 64-bit computer. Another is that there is no ability for us to natively perform GPU parallel computing on the Raspberry Pi. The platform we plan on using for computing tasks on our robotic system is the NVIDIA Jetson TX2 simply due to its GPU computing potential. With that sort of increase in computing power, I could easily see a TX board decoding speech in milliseconds instead of a couple seconds. So that will be something to look forward to. We will have a video with more details on that later. In the meantime, we have a Raspberry Pi 3 on the way, so we will have another demo comparing the Pi 2 to the Pi 3 running Pocket Sphinx and see what kind of performance boost we get. Last off, there is a method of interfacing Movi with a Raspberry Pi. We will run some tests and see if Movi can perform better when paired with a Pi, or if its limitations actually lie within the hardware of the Movi board itself. For now, here is a demonstration of the Pocket Sphinx recognizer in action on the Raspberry Pi 2. Hello. Hello. How are you? I have got spirits. How about yourself? I am doing well. Got to hear. Goodbye. Bye. See you soon. So thank you for watching. Follow us on Twitter for the latest updates, or send us an email if you have any questions.